Hey YouTube, what's up guys? It's Harvest94 here. Um, it's been a while since I released uh, any new unboxings, but that's old news. Today I got the new Sony Ericsson Aino or U10i. And um, I'm here today to do a unboxing and review video for you guys. So uh, let's get started. Here's the handset itself, but uh, we'll get to that after we check out what's in the box. Just put that aside. The phone was kept there. Here we have the wireless Bluetooth remote. 3.5mm headset insert. Power on button and charge port. We've got volume touch rockers on the side. We've got play, pause, rewind. Yep, and here yeah, I'm supposed to light up some lights um, to the beat of your music. Anyway, let's see what's inside. We got a USB cable. You got the um, HM100 um, earbud stereo headset. We got the Australian wall charger. We have earbuds for your headphones. Here is the um, dock which the Aino sits on, charges, and yep. And here are some um, manuals and guides. Now let's set that over, let's get to the phone. Um, let's see, the phone is in um, obsidian black. On the side here, uh, we have uh, some navy blue uh, inserts, streaks. Uh, here we got the um, normal Sony Ericsson charging port. On bottom, we have your microphone and your stereo speaker. On the side, here we have a um, camera button. On top, volume rockers. Uh, on top of the phone, we have a um, standby button, which uh, when your phone is on standby, you can just click to um, show up. On the back here, we have a 8.1 megapixel camera with LED flash, touch focus, and geotagging. Uh, we'll get to that a bit later. On the front, the phone features a 3.0 touch, uh, limited touch screen. Uh, phone's got an accelerometer and a slide up with uh, his directional keys. Yeah, but pretty basic. The phone would have been a lot better in Qity, but um, it's not bad. Alright, so let's get to the phone and power on button. Alright, here we go. It's actually taking a while. Alright, well, oh, here we go. Normal. Okay. Alright. Awesome. Alright, now while we're waiting for startup, I'm just going to tell you guys some of the features. Um, it packs a um, stereo speakers, like I said, for music. Has accelerometer, Bluetooth 2.1, Wi-Fi, GPS, um, remote play with PS3. Comes with an 8 gig card and uh, about 350 hours of standby, which is not bad. All right, here we, here we got the um, Aino Unlimited theme, which is playing in the background right now. All right, so let's get for the phone. So first we're gonna go to menu. Basically, you got your Play Now, your Opta Zoo, which I'm with Optus anyway. Uh, entertainment, media, messaging, camera, location services, contacts, music player, settings, organizer, and calls. Alright, so let's first go to the camera. Let that load up. And uh, it says to oh, it says to slide down. Alright, here we go. So let's um, just take a photo of these accessories here. Ooh. A little bright there, but the camera is really good. The camera is awesome for a 8.1 megapixel. Let's just discard that. You can use the touchscreen only in multimedia purposes. I'll show you guys how to do that now. 
So when the basically when the phone slid down, you just slide up this key here and your multimedia will pop up. You've got the camera, your photos, music, videos and radio. So basically touch any of these and um, it'll pop up. Cool. Alright, so let's get to something else. Let's go to the media. As you can see here, it's got the accelerometer for auto rotation. And um, let's just listen to the music first of all. I know there's many music lovers out there who aren't really happy with um, the phones they have. But this is really not that bad. I'm actually kind of happy with um, the sound of the phone. Because I'm a music lover and I like my music to be, to be loud, headset and speaker. So let's just find a song right here. A lot of music. Mm. Alright, uh. Alright, here we go. not that bad, it's not as loud as I thought it would be, but it is pretty loud and pretty good for um, all you music lovers out there. Uh, let's check out some more things on the phone, entertainment. We've got the radio, which you have to have the headset to plug in as, as always. Um, it's got track ID, play now, it's got remote play with the PlayStation 3. Um, games include Crazy Penguin and Quadrapop. I'm going to have to download more. I don't think they're really good in terms of games. Let's see uh, if there are any more apps here. Yeah, there's Facebook app, Bluetooth Robo, Weather. There's a game, uh, Music Quiz. There's, there's Wise Pilot, which is your um, your GPS. Which is cool, it's built in. Yep. So basically overall the phone's pretty awesome. I mean, I, I don't mind. I got a good deal on it, so I'm kind of happy to have a phone like this. And uh, I'm not sure how much retail is. Uh, I think in Australia, if in all phones, you'd be looking at around maybe 500 Australian dollars. Uh, I got mine for 350 over eBay, which was a really good deal, and I'm really happy that I got it for that much. So, um, yeah, overall, I'd give the phone about a 8.5 out of 10, p personally because of the multimedia. Uh, I'd be much happier if it would slide up as a QD keyboard, but um, it's all good, it's still an awesome phone. Alright, um, thanks for guys for watching, uh, I might have some new videos out soon. Uh, thanks a lot, subscribe, rate, comment, thanks a lot for watching. This was the Sony Ericsson Aino unboxing and full review. Thank you. Bye.